guys. Okay, first off, let me give you a quick this intro. Welcome back, my beautiful Vordian children. But I am now sad. I was almost done making this video. I was almost done making this video. And all of that progress was deleted. So a little bit of a recap here. We are going on into chapter 3 of this. And like I said when I was trying to record this before, this art is fucking epic. It's amazing. I don't know who the artist is, but whoever it is, you are very talented. With that being said, let's get into this chapter. Chapter 3. I just love it when you're scared. The cold and sharp blade was pressed up against George's neck, just as it had been only minutes before. A bead of sweat rolled down the brunette's forehead. The stream leans forward, whispering huskily into his ear. Oh, George, he, whis he quietly whispers those familiar words once again. It was ironic, but just the feeling of dream's hot breath against his ear was enough to send chills of George's spine. George was scared. He didn't know what to expect or what to think. He loved a dream, but saying I love you was always something that was the shorter man seemed to struggle with. Part of him wanted to say those words, but part of him was scared. He didn't want to admit that he was in love, and if he ever did, say it, he'd wanted it to be the perfect time. I think this would be a pretty good time to be like, all right, man, I do love you. I just didn't want to admit it. I was just waiting for the perfect time, but then I realized it was probably the best time to do it because I don't want to die. <laughs> you know? So, yes, George loved this a psychotic guy, but that psychotic guy was also his best friend. So, did that make it any more normal? Was it weird for George to have these feelings? He didn't know. I'm sorry, but I just got the picture of Curious George in my head, and it just made the whole thing weird. He didn't know. And maybe that was just another reason why he didn't admit to them. After moments of silence, the slightly deep voice of a lovesick psychopath speaks again. I just love it, the tall male leads on as he slowly lowers the sharp foot and dangerous weapon now aiming it at George's arm. When you're scared, the blonde finishes in a purr. The colorblind male felt his multicolor eyes widen. Also, George is the colorblind one. George is the colorblind one. Oh, yeah, that was the one video I actually saw. They got George some colorblind glasses, I think. I knew somebody got them. Anyway, as he starts struggling against the ropes as much as possible, he needed to break free. He needed help. He needed Sam. The only Minecraft YouTuber I know named Sam is Sam Gladiator. So that's immediately who I pictured here. I don't even really watch Sam Gladiator anymore. I went back and watched a series that I used to watch by him. And, uh, yeah, I, I learned some, just some cringe things back then. <laughs> anyway. Dream, stop, George begged. Please, Dream grinned psychotically. He liked it when George begged. In fact, it was almost a turn on. Plus, the fear in the brunette's voice. That innocent and nervous look in George's eyes. Mm. It made Dream want to do so many things. Please, Dream, stop, George nearly warns loud in fear. But to no avail, the psychotic male lifted his arm, and before George could take a breath or even blink, the weapon was slashed, causing George to squeeze his eyes shut and flinch in place. But nothing. No pain. At the moment of realization hitting, George slowly opened his eyes and, looking down at the un his uninjured arm, it turned out that instead of hurting or torturing George, Dream had su surprisingly decided to cut the ropes in which were Binding George to this chair. Was he letting George go? Not likely. 
Dream had a thirst for blood and a plan. There was no way George was getting out of this on his own. The Burnett, unaware of his dream of Dream's ideas, wasting no time as he stood glaring around for an exit. As soon as he spotted what looked like a door of some sort, George quickly attempted to run, to which he felt a sharp weapon pin cut him off, slowly moving towards him, speed running. He's a speed runner, isn't he? Like, like he does like speed runs in games. I don't know. Y'all know, y'all know what you're talking about if you watch Dream or whatever. There, that was Dream's strong suit. George felt like an idiot for trying to run away. But if he didn't, what would he do? Stay there and get killed? Would Dream kill him? As the blade moved closer, George naturally backed up away from the blade until his back suddenly hit against Dream's chest. Not gonna lie, that sounds sort of comforting. As soon as their bodies touched, a chuckle echoed against the stone walls. Dream noticed. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'll flat out say this. I don't know why, but I hate the word chuckled. It's just the way it sounds to me. In my mind, it's like, ugh, what the fuck kind of word is that? Anyway, Dream noticed George tremble when they touched. Honestly, finding that cute. Not so fast, George. I'm not done with you yet. Dream mentions in an intimidating tone of voice, feeling so proud that he used the weapon to get George's body pressed up against his as he speaks once again. I know you love me, George. The powerful man smirks. Don't deny it. Face it. Face me, the blonde demands, turning George's body and pulling George's waist to his own, causing the shorter male's cheeks to burn up as he sweat a bit. Low key, I would like to be hugged real close to a tall guy. That'd be nice. Like, not even like in a dating way, just like my best friend is taller than me, and it's like hugging him is like the best fucking thing ever. <laughs> he felt Clay's warm body against his, but that was something that Burnett hadn't minded. George knew he needed to get away, but oddly, he felt uncontrollable the uncontrollable urge to stay it didn't matter what dream did no matter how much george wanted to believe that he hated him the brunette may have tried to get away but he never truly wanted to leave but why why did he want to stay maybe it was the warmth of dream's body or the tone of his voice maybe it was the fact that george knew that deep down he missed dream Maybe it was the fact that Dream somehow loved the way Dream acted at the time, like, time like this. Maybe, just maybe, it was all those reasons at once. George turned his head, trying to move a bit in an attempt to get away, before Dream spoke sternly. Careful, it might cut you, he purrs, pressing the blade back against George's neck now. Those words, the feelings of the cool blade, caused George to stay in place. In silence for a moment before Dream spoke once again. George, you look so you look so pretty covered in blood, he mentioned as he slowly runs the braid across the back of the girl's neck before moving it to his face. Dream gently ran the blade down to George's cheek before suddenly slashing it. George groaned out in pain, that sound echoing against the stone walls stone cold walls. George was unable to move due to the weapon in Dream's possession and how close he was. The psychotic male grinned, gripping George's chin and getting a better look. We're going to have so much fun here, he coos as George looked down into Dream's eyes helplessly. He still felt the same way towards Dream. He was, he still was in love. Why didn't he love someone? Who, why did he love someone who hurt him? Maybe it was an addiction, like drugs, or worse. All Dream wanted was for George to confess his feelings, and he wouldn't let George go. He wouldn't get away with leading him on for years, not if Dream could help it. Clay knew that George wanted him too, but even if not, it's not as if he had much of a choice. That last part just reminded me of Yandere some later. Senpai will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Yandere Dev should have me voice Yandere Chan. No, I'm kidding. 
that would be like the worst thing ever. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to the next section of what we do in this um, series for some odd reason and read out the comments. As you can see, there's 1.93k reads on this chapter. And now that I have voted, 78 votes and 25 comments. Wait a minute, was that not recording? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay. Let's go. I, I swear if that wasn't recording. We're gonna. I'm gonna end the video. Okay, let's go read these comments again. Such a Leo. JK. Smiley face. Then literally ask someone for their period blood. It's not that get difficult. I, no, no, what, no, why the fuck are there so many of y'all here right now? We have to come to the end thy world, what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, yeah. you can tell the mental freeze, I'm gonna regret being found in this comment, girl, I'm not wrong, you are wrong, no I'm not, nobody had to get hurt, diva cup as a shot glass, Lamel. whose blood did Dream take though, patches, um, okay, like, who is gonna tell them where they are, ah, yes, as we load, eh, no idea for me, and then I don't know what that's like, to be completely honest, Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this uh, episode. I do hope that I got everything because apparently it wasn't recording for a minute. Mm, okay. I'll check. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to redo this. Anyways, love you, my beautiful Voidian children.